to be an artist means taking a real risk with your life, to follow your vision, to, in a way like a philosopher, try to articulate new forms and new ways of understanding the world we're in. Supporting artists right now, supporting their ability to create is more important than ever because it's an essential part of humanity. Artispace is one of the most long-standing nonprofit arts organizations in New York City as an um, experimental space to show emerging artistic practices in every form, so visual art, performance, music, film, critical discourse that really wasn't being um, championed and, and fostered by the gallery and museum world. Our events are mostly free, they're open and generously available, to and we try to make it so that if you're arriving in New York and you're trying to learn about the art world, we might be the first place you would go. Now in this period where the city is closed and we're trying to find ways to extend our work virtually and be in touch with the artists we work with, the organization is immediately in a precarious situation where maintaining our space, supporting our incredibly hardworking staff, and continuing to pay artists and support the work we do is challenging. Myself and the team immediately are looking you know, what is out there, like who's stepping up and kind of responding to the infrastructural challenges this creates, and NYCT did that immediately. So this was really the first beacon of hope, which actually came very quickly as the pandemic hit. I would tell people to stay close with the institutions that you care about, that have been meaningful to you. You know, so many of New York's arts and cultural institutions really are the kind of bedrock and the um, cultural centers that make this a great city. And so in a challenging moment, they're honestly doing their very best to maintain and stay afloat. A place like Artist Space, which is a really foundational bedrock organization, really is in a position to step up and support more artists than ever.